On the way back you pass again restaurant 2 and here you can see how the ground floor looks like when it's open. In front of the restaurant you have a big parking place with a lot of parking lots for many cars coming here for lunch. In addition to that it's also a common place for visitors to meet before they start a tour through CERN. In the building on the left you can find a linear accelerator called Linac 4 which is part of the CERN accelerator complex. On the right side you can see a beautiful landscape made of mountains and these grape plants which are directly growing behind the fence. Although CERN is separated from the public transport you can find everywhere footpaths, bikeways and of course zebra crossings to safely cross the street. After walking down the hill you can find a place where sometimes horse riding competitions are taking place especially on Sundays. And since the airport of Geneva is very close to CERN you can find from time to time airplanes starting and landing. Now we continue our way and we can see now a few buildings which are very important and one of them is building 41 which you see in the foreground also building 38 and building 39 which are all CERN hostels. Especially when you are staying at CERN for a shorter time period then it's very common that you book a room directly in one of these hotels which are on the CERN area. The main reception for all hostels is placed in building 39 where you have to make check in and check out. The next building behind 39 is 40 which is the Atlas and CMS building. In this building you can find many offices from people who are working for the Atlas or CMS collaboration which are two very important experiments at the LHC. After entering through the main door you will see immediately this very interesting and beautiful round shape of the building where a cafeteria is placed directly in the center. During the opening times you can choose between a large variety of different coffee types or you can heat up your meal in one of these microwaves. In addition you can have a look at one of these large scale models in order to find more information about the detectors. In each of the stories you will find offices hidden behind the doors and open workspaces with a beautiful view over the whole building.